done. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Awkward. you for coming to the Fox 7 Austin YouTube channel, checking out our exclusive digital show, the Good Day Austin Roundup. <laughs> uh, good Day Austin, wait. Yes. Uh, good Day you're Austin only one Anchors. Of them. <laughs> well, you're, you're a single. Multiple of yeah, us. Well, and I'm joined that by That S really confused you that much. <laughs> it did. It really completely changed the integrity of what I'm saying. The but integrity. I'm, oh, boy, integrity. I'm joined awesome. by the usual crew. That one's fellow, great. That anchors. is. <laughs> fellow anchors, Dave and Amanda, digital content manager, Donnie, and meteorologist, Zach. Oh, you rallied, man. That last part was good. <laughs> nice finish. Nice finish. That was good. Oh, we are highlighting and talking about some of the favorite segments from our morning show that you may have missed. We will get things started as we usually do with Mr. Shields talking about some weather videos. A lot of satellite yes. imagery of all those storms. Oh, a lot of satellite oh. imagery. From Ooh. recently Fancy. that I wasn't here for. Fancy. Yeah, I know. Fancy. Weather Sorry. around the world. Yeah. All right, we're going to start off with some satellite imagery That's like right Donnie just said. <laughs> Showing a lot of tornadic <laughs> thunderstorms that erupted across parts of the central U.S., including Oklahoma and Kansas. That was round one. We've had three rounds of severe weather across the country, thousands of storm reports uh, since Monday. Uh, so it's starting to act like the stormy season around here, and we could get our share of storms here in the coming days. All right, here's some more satellite Im imagery. This one's showing the storms that swept over parts of Texas. Officials oh. said this time lapse video shows the storms and supercells Holy exploding cow, right? along the dry line. That's why I call dry line magic. One moment it's sunny, the next moment I you mean, had dangerous storms just like that. You can see the overshooting tops. Uh, those are the very strong updrafts supporting the large hail. And some of those storms look like they were rotating. I was going to say, you yeah. definitely can see that. The rotation. Yeah, I've, I'd never seen one like this. Like, I'd seen the ones, the prior one, where you kind of see the lag. Yeah, you know, this not, one was kind of just like. Is this the Panhandle on West Texas? This or? is probably West Texas, yeah. San Angelo, Abilene okay. area. Yeah. yeah, not too terribly Pretty far decent. away. Yeah. All right, flooding in Southeast Texas prompted evacu evacuation orders and some rescues, including one of an armadillo. Check out this video from Trinity County where you see a game warden grab an armadillo struggling in the water as it passed it by oh, the boat. Oh. The video was posted by the Trinity County Sheriff who said they were calling armadillo Sam and they were going to let him go on dry land. And armadillo was like, what was that? <laughs> it's probably just, you know, hanging out and yeah. then all of a sudden. There was lots of rescue. I'm surprised they spotted it because I barely saw it in the yeah, video, yeah. you know? I barely see it. You gotta make sure you can grab with the tail. Well, that, 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 yeah. Like a yeah. water moccasin. It's it's probably, oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Parts of East Texas, they had 8 to 12 inches of rain in just three days. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Bad, bad. There. All right, let's head out to California, where the Sierra Nevada saw its snowiest day of the season so far. That's unbelievable because it's so a very far. snowy winter. <laughs> uh, are we talking about the spring season, I guess? I don't know. Uh, you see Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Labs says 26 that might be all inches wrong. of snow <laughs> fell. On May 5th, wow, that's impressive, which almost three inches more than its March 3rd record. Several areas in the region got more than two feet of snow, including one area where reportedly got 31 inches. Oh, that's that's depressing if you live there. You've oh. made it through the winter. You've made it right. through all that. Here we are in May. Yeah, but you got to understand that if you live that in the mountains like well, that. Yeah. yeah. It's like us in I Texas in right summer. Oh, like, yeah, man, it's, it's still 100 in September. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got yeah. to expect it's where it. you are. Yeah. Yeah. I love snow. Me too. Uh, yes, but no. I, I wouldn't like it on Last year. May no, no, 3rd. Five, 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 <laughs> All right, snow is also an issue in South America. Let's head to Chile. Now, where a fast, intense frontal system brought snow to the area. It's a video of some mountains near a national park. Oh, there's a doggy. Sure, it's not oh, a small yeah. bear. Oh, right over in the right. Oh, yeah. There it is, yeah. Maybe it is oh, a small bear. Couple? Oh, yeah. those are like, oh, those those are like Malamute type. Oh, they, whoa. Uh, they, whoa. Now you won't get those dogs back in. No. Oh, that's this is the best. Wow, this they're is having so fun. much fun. Yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> I always kind of forget about how you know in the southern hemisphere it's the opposite. So I was like, oh right, it is kind of supposed to be cold and snowy down there. Mm -hmm. Starting to go into winter. Starting to go, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Just now starting. And finally, let's end up with record-breaking. Now, video. just to clarify, this is not a weather video, as Casey's going to complain about. I understand. Oops. It's just cool. Okay. <laughs> no, we're flying in the clouds. That's this a weather, weather video, right? This is from Australia, where all an all-female group from Queensland set two new records for formation skydiving. Twenty-four women set the Australian women's record with a two-point, twenty-four-way total break. I don't know what that is. Sequential. Sequential. What do oh, you? The whole 24 way. Well, now total we're going to explain now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's explain. Now. You can tell I'm being the ahead of time. Shields uh, gets so prepared. Uh, for that, <laughs> we're jumping from two separate aircrafts at 14,000 feet before gathering together and free fall and assembling themselves into two consecutive 24 way formations. Apparently, that's called a that sequential. <laughs> or a sequence. Yeah. I don't know. That's pretty cool, right? It is cool, yeah. Pretty cool, man. Lady? Yeah, they had to wait days for the right weather. Yeah, so which makes sense, right? Yeah. 
Then they did it on the first try. They sure did. Amazing. In the second jump, 20. Imagine if you kind of messed it up, though. 23. Got to do it again, guys. Sorry. From oh. the same group, set the record for the largest Australian women's star formation. Yeah, wow. it's a lot of pressure. You don't want to be the one who messes up. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. no. Yeah. And then Whee! they break. Now we're gone. Yeah. The ball. How do they practice, though? Oh, that's question. a question. Yeah. VR. Oh, for real. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's got a lot of work Virtual to get 24 reality. people oh, together, okay, you know? I fly, I maybe. Yeah. I fly. I fly. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty big city. one to get 24 yeah. people in that little kind of container. Because it's almost, it reminds me of synchronized <laughs> swimming. You yeah. know, they're all they're bad. Yeah. Yes. Swim, yeah. Swim yeah. Yeah. Olivia and Adelie have uh, danced before, and they decided to give it another go in their most no, recent edition of Keeping Score. This time they were doing a little salsa. They headed out to the Arthur Murray Dance Center in Austin. It's been around since 1947, by the way. And two got lessons, and while Libby did well with footwork, Adley had a bit of trouble not looking at her feet. She looked at her feet a lot. I would say do it again. Yeah. In the end, Libby was declared. Even with those sweet moves, <laughs> Libby was declared. Adley seemed to have a bit of a struggle going on um, learning the salsa dancing. She said, but she looked good once it all came together. Yeah, I they yeah. both. They that was a tough competition. But they declared Libby the winner, I think, by... Uh, he didn't really explain it, or at least in the package they didn't explain why, but... I think Libby is maybe very close to tying it up. She's won the last couple ones, yeah, I think. Yeah, what's the score? Isn't it like, like 54, 54 to 52? Or, yeah, something like uh, that, yeah. Wow, look at you keeping tabs on <laughs> Amanda's like, really Amanda's invested. Got, Amanda's got, got season tickets to keep score. Invested, okay. yeah. yeah. Matt, you guys, wait, what did you dance? You and Leslie danced? Swing. Swing dance. Swing dance. Okay, yeah. yeah. I've taken swing There was no winner to play. I think that's hard. Uh, it's pretty hard, yeah. yeah I look hard. real bad. Dance I could do. You swing can do dance? swing? I took lessons. What? Because when I got married in the late 90s, all that swingers and all those movies, like fun yeah. stuff was, and so we went. So Mariah thought it was a good idea to. <laughs> yeah. Swingers? How much of that do you re swingers remember? The movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different okay. Tell you when you're older. But, uh, yeah. So I don't know how much of it I kept. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. There's no way she's booking this for Monday night with Monday Night Football. Of course, it was on oh, Monday night. Of course she did. Yeah. Of course she did. And they made you switch partners. It was a hookup thing. Yeah. Because. What you said? Well, no, not swingers like that. But like, it was a hookup thing where people would go to meet people. It makes sense. Yeah. It's like, well, I don't need this now that I'm engaged. Yeah. This might have been a yeah, helpful thing. So that's thing kind to... of what Zach's referring you, to. Because you had to switch partners. <laughs> you had to switch partners. And I'm like, I'm here to learn how to dance with my fiance. And oh, like, I see. So yeah, yeah. But gotta... the majority of people were not there with someone. They were there on yeah, their no, own. Just and kinda, then the okay. announcer's like, hey. Wait, wait, so you I want to know. You got out of there and still engaged. <laughs> <laughs> I could have found someone else. Uh, like, oh, I guess better. Still engaged in at least a B minus swing dance. Did you do a big swing performance with, swing dance performance with Mariah? Like. Is that I don't what? think so. So you guys well, just took the lessons and never did it. Uh, you know, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. Right. I don't, I mean, maybe maybe so we didn't dance like that at the wedding. I mean, there were a few years when any time any kind of dancing was called for, I started swing dancing. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really matter what. We're kind gonna of need music. to see these moves in the next <laughs> round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Well, I don't know if I have them anymore. We're gonna see. I did. Oh. Uh, Let's find the tape. Play, playing disco. You know, Let's go to the video ball. Oh, yeah. The video ball. Doesn't matter. Okay. Let's talk food. The favors of Oaxaca, Mexico are here in Austin at a restaurant on South Congress. Chapulín Cantina is the sister restaurant to Lichas. It features moles made from scratch, along with more than 150 tequilas and mezcals. The menu has items from both the sea and the mountains to showcase the variety of Oaxaca. It looks really good. It looked great. Did y'all get to eat some of that? No, no, what do you think, Donnie? It never came back, huh? What do you think, Donnie? Oh, wow. Sorry. That's pain talking. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> that looks really good. I definitely want to go check it out. It looks great. Yeah. yeah. I forgot that that was there. It used to, I forget what it was. That space was a different restaurant on it's a very South Congress. Very trendy spot. Yeah. But it's like a nice spot you, when you walk along South Congress. Go grab a marg. Yeah. Get some good food. Take yeah. the drive down there. Yeah. Find parking. That's always one reason why I don't like Oof. to go down that way. That's a, that's a band of everything. It's a part of my life now. <laughs> or as Jane and I always joke about, she's always like, if, ever, if you ever invite her anywhere, first question. What's the parking it's situation the like? It's the question. It is the same thing. When someone invites anyone anywhere, yeah. that's the question. Especially in downtown Austin. Well, yeah. and South Congress yeah. is worse than downtown. It's, yeah. it's really I think bad. it's also just because you have all those little side streets where you don't know if you can park because they have yeah. those signs yeah. up. Yeah. And yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. So you have to park three park blocks anyway. away <laughs> at the school. It's basically just like, whatever. Just, or just put the flash. This is coming from the guy who's had, what, three tickets on his car outside? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't care. put him in the collection. You don't care. I don't really care. I mean, it's cheaper to get parking. a ticket than, than to pay for parking every day. Oh, all right. You know what? So, sometimes a lot of things can kind of make you a little anxious and ang and that you're cool. That, oh, wow. That's where you. That's where you all kind of even out. Wow. Wow. I don't have to worry. Yeah, cool as a anymore. cucumber on the <laughs> parking, <laughs> which is yeah. legit. As a reporter here for many years, we had to park downtown. I had to learn this. I had to learn this. Wow. That's you know? I called him one time. That's because he was in the in between the 15 and the two. 
No, in case I think you have like three tickets on your car. Literally, yeah. it was like one, two, three on top of each other. And he's like, yeah, it's cool. Uh, oh, that was not good. That, yeah, was no, that one wasn't so cool. Yeah. The one really I think is okay. The that. three was a little bit too that much. Yeah, that was a lot. Yeah. That was just an overzealous Sorry to bring parking attendant. Third time's a charm. Yeah, yeah. it, it may have been more than that. But actually. still, when you have to go downtown, not, not a big deal. You just figure it out. Uh, yeah. Good for you. That's good for you. Yeah. Speaking of downtown, yeah. there's a new spot on West 6 for people to check out called The Statesman. And Chef Greg stopped by to make one of their staples, the Statesman Burger. They do a special burger every week, along with other specials. There's also happy hour from 5 to 7, Tuesday through Friday, and brunch on Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. I really like this spot. It is in kind of an odd spot, because you know around West 6, it's all those bars, it's like yeah. Kung Fu and all that kind of stuff. And then you walk over to Statesman, and it's a very nice, like, kind of restaurant, bar kind of thing. It's really pretty. I think uh, Tierra did some segments out there one yes. time. She did a yeah, segment out there, yeah. 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 Um, it's a really cool spot. The food's really good, and they have a variety, a lot of different things. So, the San Casey is a good spot for, like, a date night or whatever yeah. earlier, so. It's an interesting pivot going from a newspaper to a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, you don't see that very often. Yeah, that's right. It's interesting. Yeah. You know, I don't actually have a good idea, like emblazon it with like newspa like the state's newspaper stuff. <laughs> they just, I don't know. Is Lean there no relation it? between those two? Sure. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, okay. Might be some okay. sort of copyright issue. Yeah. Yeah. How zealous you got yeah, yeah. with that, I don't know. But the food is really good. I recommend people trying it. At least what I've had was really good. So. Um, well, two of my favorite spots besides the statesman in town are coming together for a big birthday bash. The Fierce Whiskers bourbon is finally ready and the distillery is throwing a party on May 18th. It'll be going on from 4 to 8 p.m. It's going to have drinks and great food, including Chef Michael with Tare. You see him there. Um, Tare is that omakase sushi spot that's up in North Austin. It's kind of hidden away in this, like... They've been on, too. Yes. It's great stuff. It's kind of hidden away. It's kind of funny. The first time I went there, it's in this sort of medical building, it looks like, from the outside. And then you kind of go, you're like, is this the right place? Well, that's Sierra and I went, and we were like, is this the right place? And then so we go in, and we're like, oh, it's like it's right there. Yeah. So the sushi's are good. But yeah, Fierce Whiskers is one of my... I think I've told you guys before, it's kind of located over there by Meanwhile Brewing. Yeah. And in South Austin, and it's like one of my favorite spots to go. It's kind of a very chill. They got a lot of open air, like, space. So you can kind of like chill outside, uh, have a little. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very nice, yeah. nice sized parking lot. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. okay, now. A nice sized parking lot. the question. Uh, but yeah, I think they, and the, he does a lot of interesting stuff for the sushi too. He does, yeah, he did that when he came yeah. in. It's a great spot. May 18th, if you guys want to check it out. Good, good food, good drinks. There'll be other spots too. Good times. Yes. Good people. Good, people. good times, good people. A new gourmet cookie spot is now open in South on South Lamar. Loving Cookies has two other locations. Now you guys got to eat those. Lakeway and Westlake. Very yeah. delicious. The uh, business was inspired by owner Ashley Cameron Sun's fight against Kawasaki disease. Uh, the cookies use clean ingredients and eggs from Austin's Vital Farms. The spot also offers cinnamon rolls, coffee, and Howdy homemade ice cream. Howdy has locations in Dallas and Katy. Since 2015, it helps create jobs to those with developmental disabilities. Yeah, I love the vibe. The the mission. Uh, mission. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. yes, and the vibe. But you know, the mission of the both oh, of those companies. The cookies were great. Were they? I can't imagine. I didn't hear about the cinnamon rolls till the last time. Yeah. I'm talking about it, man. I, I was on a shoot. I didn't get to eat it. You didn't? Pitch count? No. What was the pitch count? How many came back? And how, yeah. Two boxes. Two boxes. And I thought so one be, box for Dave, the rest well, everyone else got. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to have two, and I'm like, I highly doubt that. Uh, I held out for a while. But, Man. And, and I actually go. even did the deal, right, which I really frown upon, where someone breaks off a piece of something and leaves the rest in there. Oh, yeah. No one else was around. <laughs> no, I, I do that. I, I get, well, no, so many people do it. I'm like, take it or don't. So yeah. I, so, but, but those were massive. We don't know if it's been bid off of. But I kept going back and back and back, and then I ate the whole thing. Just ate the whole thing. So, again, they're in, feeling, in defense of those who leave stuff. bits behind, I think it's sometimes if there's not enough, you're like, oh, I don't want to take the whole thing so other people can have something. People never know. Yeah. Yeah, they'll never know. Yeah. Mario Elbel with uh, Austin Travel stopped by to talk about one of the best spots for wine, of course, right. Napa Valley. She was recently this, out there. Um, one of the highlights she talked about was the Napa Valley, Valley wine train, which has about a dozen different experiences to choose from on there. You get to travel in a 1915 Pullman train on a six hour trip. And while you're on the train, you're doing wine tasting and eating some great. It's dangerous. Wow. Well, <laughs> you know, well, you're not operating the train. Well, but you get off, you're like, man, I've already had a bottle of wine. Now we're going to go to a winery. Oh, well, well, when they make a couple stops at wine too, she said, yeah. right? Yeah, maybe, maybe you forget what's going on. You ride the train three yeah. or four times. I don't know. <laughs> 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 the kids get 
you got to get off the train. Yeah. It's over. I'm no, never I'm leaving this train. They're feeding me. I got wine going. There's a sleeper car yeah. for people like that. Absolutely. <laughs> I think, I think there is. I get dibs on that. All that gentleman's helping me out. He's a well dressed guy. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. And with a bottle of wine. I think they do a similar kind of wine train around here, right? Do they? Or something like what? that? Uh, right? Yeah. In Cedar, Cedar Park. Cedar, or Cedar Park. Yeah. yeah. The railroad. They do like a wine thing. Yeah. But it doesn't stop at wineries and stuff. But I think it just goes through and you can drink wine. Wineries and stuff. Right. I think it's just just a wine train. Train with wine on it. Did the Polar Express with the kids? Yeah. Oh, was there yeah. wine? Yeah. 20 no years wine. Ago. No yeah. wine. No wine, right? Polar bears? No, no wine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Oh, yeah. cocoa. Yeah. Also very good. Cookies. Well, if you haven't been watching Tierra's digital show, Tierra's Texas on Fox Local, you are you definitely better. missing Shame out. On you. Definitely missing out. She recently spent some time in Houston and checked out some spots, including the Houston Museum of Natural Science. There's this uh, paleontology hall where they were. There's also the Gems and Minerals room, I think she called it. New Matter and Motion Hall, which was pretty cool. And what I thought was really interesting, the King Tut's Tomb Replica Experience. Yep, I'm really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was really cool. I'm pretty sure. I've been, you've been here, obviously, right, Dave? Oh, I'm sure. Yep, okay. All right. <laughs> no, I mostly just went to NRG and. I think I've been here. I think I took my parents here, but I can't remember. That paleontology hall looked familiar. But yeah, we've been there. Yeah, well, make sure to check out the show, yeah. which streams every weekday at 11 a.m. to see the other spots she checked out in Houston. Uh, I think she went to what I thought was really cool. I definitely want to go back when I go to Houston. The Post. That was that area where they had all these restaurants. It was an old post office. Yeah. It's and cool. it has all these like cool, it's like a food hall now. Yeah. Like, oh, that's pretty yeah. awesome. Dave's been there a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> close, close that close energy, down. I don't think so. No, yeah. no. Let's end things as we do always with a dive into our video vault. This one is from 1966. Oh, it was a good deal. I, I really like this one. It's a protest march. Oh, protest. It goes down South Congress <laughs> toward the Capitol. So I think they're protesting the Vietnam War. But the reason why this video I thought was really cool is look at South Congress behind them. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a, like look, that's near that's the Capitol. That's in favor of the... <laughs> You're, well, they, I think we there's, a, there's one later that says something different, but like, none of the, where, where on South Congress is that? Like, that I don't know. It's a different time. Uh, Look, well, yeah, that's a tall building on South Congress. Yeah, is that? Uh, yeah, see, there, you, there's the opposite side. We, we made sure to, but well, I think it's kind of close to us. Protesters. Yeah. Uh, I thought that's what you were going to yeah. point out, is the true. difference some, in. Some dressed up protesters, yeah, too. Yeah, they're wearing heels. But I think, no isn't that that bakery? No face. That's right. I think that's the bakery. The bakery that's on the corner? Is like, it? Yeah. Wow. That looks like the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> not Nothing gets past you. Yeah. I, think this is, I think this is relatively close to our station. Yeah, this is so I think all these yeah, buildings yeah. are kind like of what, like... <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so Deductive. Well, I mean, all you have to do is look up <laughs> Wait a shoes. I know, and they're all just so well-dressed. This in Austin? <laughs> it's like, these people are dressed up for this protest. Yeah, they're wearing yeah. suits. Shoes. Women are wearing, like, really nice shoes. It's like shoes. a marching yeah. band, kind of. They're in yeah, their I know. Yeah. They've got their purses, and they've got sunglasses yeah. with their hair done. Yeah. They have uh, group signs. I thought it was pretty interesting. Like, if my grandma were to yeah. protest, she'd dress like that. And that bus in the background. I don't know. There was just so much stuff going Put on. Put that on there. a t-shirt. Protest like your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> no, that building there. That, I think that's the yeah, bakery. That's some of those. Which bakery are you talking about? The bakery that's like literally right behind the state. Like if you go on to Congress, the station, that old bakery emporium place. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was that building yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. So. Right across the way there? Yeah. 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 Yes. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Remember, you can get the details about all this. What were they talking about? Talk we're about. We're all talking about separate things. I know. Things. I know. <laughs> a slice of life on the roundup. Yeah. And uh, subscribe on our YouTube channel. We appreciate you watching the Good Day Austin Morning. A Good Day Austin starts each weekday morning at 4.30. Now you can watch on your connected television with a Fox Local app. Fox Local. It's free to download and available on multiple platforms, including Roku and Apple TV. You can stream our newscasts live and watch exclusive digital shows like TRS Texas, which we just talked about, and Amanda's Fox 7 Espanol every day. every day, right after the noon show. 12.30. Fox Local, it's cool. That's your new slogan. I'm yeah. so tan. Yeah. I didn't realize how tan I looked until I looked on the video. Oh, oh you, you do. Did you go on vacation? Tan, yeah. Yeah. I'm, tan. <laughs> I'm so tan. Yeah. Yeah. Beach or something? Oh, very tan. You're less tan in person. I look very tan on camera. You do. Yeah.